Liu Bei successfully repels Cao Cao's invasion of Hanzhong. With this victory, he takes for himself the title of Lord of Hanzhong. In Jing, Guan Yu receives word of Liu Bei's victory and decides the time was right to attack Wei. He chooses Fan Castle as his target. With that, he fell right into Cao Cao's trap. By drawing Guan Yu out and defeating him, Cao Cao aimed to disrupt the fragile balance between the three kingdoms. All else had been to ensure the success of the campaign against Guan Yu. And to do so, he enlisted the aid of Sun Quan, who had long desired the return of Jing province. Allow me to ask you a question, sworn brother of Liu Bei. What do you think of Sun Quan? Who are you? My name is Zuo Tzu. I am here to provide support to Liu Bei. Cao Cao is not the only man who is after Jin province. Do you not think that Sun Quan may discard your alliance and attack as well? I cannot discount the possibility. Since the death of Master Lu Su, I hear that there are voices in Wu calling for a more aggressive approach towards Jing province. But I do not think it would benefit Wu to betray our alliance and take Jing province right now. There is no future in it. Cao Cao would be the only winner. Hmm, I wonder. There may be one thing which benefits both of them. What are you referring to? There is one major obstacle preventing both Wei and Wu from claiming Jin province. That obstacle is you, the god of war, Guan Yu. What? You mean Wei and Wu would join forces simply to be rid of me? Unfortunately, your prowess has now become so legendary that you have become a cause of conflict yourself. You are now impeding the realization of Liu Bei's dream. This is the very opposite of everything I ever wanted. Sworn brother of Liu Bei, I will help you in this battle for Jing province. If you fall here, the chaos afflicting the land will only deepen. That would not be for the greater good. I am grateful for your assistance, Master Zuo Tzu. Together we will repel those who would try to seize this land. Very good. Master Zhuge Liang has entrusted me with his plan to attack Fan Castle. He wants us to make use of the river flowing nearby. The recent rains have raised the water level of the river to the east of the castle. Trust Master Zhuge Liang to notice that and incorporate it into his plan. There is a levee along the upstream reaches of the river. If we can secure the area and break the levee, we should be able to flood the castle. So, we all just need to attack the levee. I'm ready! But... 
I'm sure the enemies notice the river levels up as well. They'll probably be anticipating an attack on the levee. If we just go charging in wildly, won't we run the risk of taking damage ourselves? In that case, why don't we divide our forces in two? Send one unit to the levee, and the other to attack the castle. The unit attacking the castle will attract the enemy's attention, which should ensure the levee's defenses are thinner. Yes. We will use Guan Xing's plan. I want all of you to show me what you're capable of. Your kids have all grown up big and strong, boss. I have no claim to being a good father, but my children have grown up well nonetheless. For a parent, there can be no greater joy. It is time for us to seize Ban Castle. With our courage and skill, we will bring Master Jugo Leon. Plan to fruition. Enforcements are marching on Fan Castle. I am now in control of this area. shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. You 
will never make it through Xiang Yang while I still draw breath. You. We have to take Xiang Yang first if we want to attack Fan Castle. It'll be my job to do that. to the land. I am impressed with your skills in battle. We must construct a levy to the south of Fan Castle. But the enemy must not suspect what we are up to. Discover what it is that the enemy wants. What a failure. Now I can get back to work. I'm concerned about what they're planning. But we have to retreat. Now I can start the work again. Thank you. Thanks to you, the construction of the levee is complete. This should increase the effectiveness of our flood attack. May my efforts bring peace to the land. I am impressed with your skills in battle. Now, take defensive positions. Reporting! The embankment has been finished on the south side of Feng Chen. Very good. But attack is sure to be a resounding success. It looks like a direct confrontation was not the proper strategy for this battle. Forgive me, Master Xiaoran. My efforts. 
peace to the land. You performed great as always. There was no need for my strategy. Cannot let Van Castle fall into Shu's hands. Serve as the shield that protects it from our foes. Might. However, refuse to let the enemy take Van Castle. Van Castle still refuses to break. Thou Ren is truly a master of defense. My word, they are persistent. It seems the only way to thwart the path of conquest is to slay Zhao Zhao himself. <laughs> Ah! Reinforcements from the west of Van Castle! Now we can push the Wei forces back. Two reinforcements as well? This is going Too bad. General Pan De has been taken by Guan Yu's forces. <clears throat> How dare they do that to the general? general? Now is the time for us to attack. We must save General Pan De, and then link up with him to defeat Guan Yu. Guan Yu! <laughs> I would like to offer my surrender. What, oh, what are... If possible, I would ask you to guarantee the lives of all my men as well. I understand. I promise, in the name of my oath brother, the great Lu Bei. Why, General, have you lost your mind? <laughs> in the military, the orders of your superiors are not to be questioned. I will accept no protest. <sighs> What kind of person are you? Gather the units and line them up. Even when surrendering, discipline will be enforced. Ever since we accepted Eugene's surrender, we have been going through our provisions at a much faster rate. We have almost reached rock bottom. 
Zhou Tsang has requested more provisions from Jiang Ling to help. Boss! Terrible news! Jiang Ling has already fallen to the Wu forces. Most of the men we left in charge have defected to Wu. You mean we have lost our main base of operations? Curse you, Sun Quan! How dare you break our alliance and our pact, striking where we are weakest! Father! Forces of both Wei and Wu are moving to surround Van Castle! What? No! The Wei reinforcements have already assumed their formation, while the Wu forces are advancing from the south! They almost look as if their movements were coordinated beforehand! Now I see. Wu planned to betray us and join forces with Wei all along. But to discard the alliance we have shared since Chibi, and to side with the traitorous Wei? Sun Xuan, I swear that my righteous blade will cut you down. But boss, we've hardly got anything left to eat. Unless we do something about that, we won't even be able to defend the castle, let alone slay Sun Quan. Uh, then we must be prepared to take desperate measures. You mean... you plan to set forth from the castle? With things as they are, we cannot afford to remain in Fan Castle. I hate to admit defeat, but I cannot allow the oath I made with my brothers to be broken. Everyone, I want you to listen closely to what I have to say. It has been decided that we will abandon the castle and flee to E Province. We are not to try and claim glory by engaging and defeating the enemy. We must survive. I can't believe that our allies in U would betray us. Shu and U joined hands and fought against Wei at Chibi. Yet now, U has turned its back on our alliance and has joined forces with Wei to torment us. I hear that Lord Leo Bei's wife is a lady of Wu. They said she is a woman of honor and integrity. And yet, how could this have happened? Everyone, pull yourselves together. We do not have the time right now to worry about the reasons behind Wu's betrayal. All we need to worry about is how to get all of us to safety so that we can live to fight another day. That's right. We do not need to worry about fighting Wei or Wu at the moment. If we can break through the siege of the castle, victory is ours. Leave it to me. I'll rip through that siege with my speed. Oh, but it's no good just me surviving, is it? The boss and everyone else have to survive too, and we all have to make it home to Master Leo Bei. We must all make it to E Province, come what may. We must show no fear, or only death awaits us. Come, we march forth! The forces of Wei approach from the north, and those of U advance from the south. We must somehow break through! and stay alive! Fight for your very lives, men! Flee with all you have! We will all meet again in Linju to the southwest! Oh, now is the time to attack! Hey. 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 
Efforts bring peace to the land. Yes, your deeds will go down in legend. such skill. I shall be watching you more. I am now in control of this area. to the land.
cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. You put up a most magnificent fight, but it ends here. There is no escape for you. We're joining too. Forces have arrived from Qianlin. We should have taken it first. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! Now, take defensive positions. I think it's about time for the archer. Now, fire! Archers? Where are they hiding? I can't believe I let them get away. Everyone, I leave the rest of our battle plan to you. This isn't over yet. I shall devise a new strategy. I simply do as the fates require of me. May my efforts bring peace to the land. You've done very well. It's good to know I... Count on you. are unstoppable! Shoot to mere ashes when I'm done. chance to finish off the enemy and we failed. I couldn't imagine a more disappointing result. May my efforts bring peace to the land. Spectacular! Keep up the good work! 
We can't handle a wave pursuit from Wen Castle. Let's make some ality. Reporting! The shoe forces are making suspicious movements. What? I shall go and see what they are up to myself. such skill. I shall be watching you more. Yes! The Abbotee is complete! Now we can stop the way in their tracks.
because we are here. You shall not pass. We shall stand in your way like a massive rock. Never! <laughs> Believe this. Retreating without even taking Wan Yu's head. This seemed like a perfect chance. Now to retreat without defeating them? We must stay and defend this position. We were unable to stop the shoe. I only hope that our withdrawal does not serve as an impediment to Ud. May my efforts bring peace to the land. Seeking reinforcements. However, even that will not be enough for you to get past us. We'll be better off once we can capture that position. It must be captured at once. Defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. I have failed. No matter. Not even reinforcements will be enough to overcome these odds. Stop this if you can. Uh, I'm so glad you're safe. I know what's happened in fact. Castle. We must not lose Master Wan Yu! Let us hurry to reinforce him! I simply do as the fates require of me. May my efforts bring peace to the land. Oh, 
the encirclement and made it this far. I'm almost impressed. Your luck has finally run out. Prepare to meet your end. require of me. Now, stay defensive position. <laughs> Require of me. Victory was almost within our grasp. But even still, there is nowhere left for you to run to. It was pretty close, but we somehow made it through by the skin of our teeth. The way and who will not have given up yet. We must not relax until we have rejoined my brother. Something you don't need to say. I have always admired you as God of War. I don't care where we end up. I'll follow you to the end of the world. I am the son of Guan Yu, God of War. I won't shame you. I'll fight to the very end. I have been given good friends and good children. I have been blessed. I am sorry I will not be able to fulfill my oath to my brothers. But they'll pay greatly to take this life of mine for duty. And honor! Father. Brother. Master Jot Sung. You said we all had to survive. Father and the others, they drew the enemy's attention away from us. He kept protecting us to the very end. But there was so much more I wanted him to teach me. What are we supposed to do now? We don't have time to wallow in grief. I suppose so. We have to report what happened to Lord Leo Bay. We have to let him know how our father's life ended. Yes. Master Leo Bei's grief will be profound. They were born apart, but they would die together. You. Guan Yu! How could you go first and leave your brothers behind? I beg your forgiveness, my lord. If we had been stronger. No, Master Liu Bei. The blame lies entirely with me. 
I knew there was always a chance that Wu would attack Master Guan Yu. I should have sent him more troops to prepare for that eventuality. No one here must bear the blame for Guan Yu's death. This was an act of evil and treachery by the men of Wu. The only one who deserves our hatred and our vengeance is Sun Quan. Brother, what's happened? Why did Sun Quan betray us? I... but we... we swore an oath! We swore that though we were born on different days, the day of our death would be one and the same. We have lost more than just Master Guan Yu. Master Guan Ping and Master Zhou Zan wanted to see us build a land of benevolence too. And after taking Hung Zheng and forcing Wei to the brink, I thought that day was close. Everyone, I would like you all to observe a period of mourning for Guan Yu, Guan Ping, Zhou Zang, and all the soldiers who fell at Fan Castle. They were brave men who fought and died for our dream of a land of virtue and benevolence. That dream, however, does not die with them, but lives on in us. Fa Zheng said that I am incapable of vengeance. But I am not a saint. I've lost my beloved brother to an act of treachery and craven cowardice. I cannot simply sit here and do nothing! Sun Quan! This debt will be paid!